I'm back with Leslie Hervey, the executive director of the SPCA, and we're here to talk about the mutt strut. Leslie, tell everybody if they don't already know, what's the mutt strut? It is so fun. We do it down at the Speedway, and it's a time to come out with your animal. So many people like to do things with their pets on the weekend. This is it. Dress them up, dress them down, bring them out. It's a great event to celebrate the animals in our community, and it's a fundraiser to help animals not quite as fortunate as the one that's sitting probably on your lap right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the date of the upcoming mutt strut? Okay, it's Saturday, April 14th, and we learned a really valuable lesson last year. We've got a rain date of Sunday, April 15th. Last year, it never rained on the mutt strut before, so we didn't have a rain date factored in. That wasn't a very smart thing to do, but now we have it. <laughs> now we have it and we're ready. And we're gonna be located down at the Martinsville Speedway, um, down on south on 220. And tell us what time activities kick off. Uh, we have a bike ride at 10 o'clock and then the walk is at 11. There's a lunch for you and your pet. The pets included in your entrance fee, your lunch is on your own. And there'll be all sorts of vendors there. And we hope if you're a vendor and you do anything that you think that animal lovers would like, we would like you to come down. Vendor space is only $10. $10. That's quite a bargain to go out and make some money these days. Yeah. 350, 500 people and their pets and, you know, walking around the speedway, happy. We've got music. 107.5 is going to be there. Uh, we've got animal Reiki. We've got invisible fence. We've got... Um, doggy demonstrations from the canine um, animal officers. Well, let me go back a second. Now, okay. if we've got people watching at home that are interested in being vendors, you said that it's just $10 if they want to come down and set up, and they do not have to be an animal-related business. No, absolutely not. We would love to have you. It's going to be a big crowd. Everybody's milling around and looking for fun things to do. So this would be a good time to display your wares or to talk about the service that you provide um, to our community. And it's uh, the beautiful Martinsville Speedway. It's so sunny and pretty down there on the track. It's such a nice thing to do. Oh, and April's just the best time of year to go down there. I absolutely love being down there every year. I mean, we st I'm not a morning person, and, you know, I end up having to get down there at 7 o'clock in the morning to volunteer, but it's always such a great day out. It is. And Everybody's so happy, and it's sunny, and the... Um, Clay Campbell and his staff take such good care of that beautiful speedway. And if you've never actually been on the track, which I hadn't until we started this mutt strut, it is an awesome experience. It's beautiful. There's plenty of room for you and your animals so you don't feel up tight and just lots of fun things to do. So and I day. love the fact that people come out and bring their animals in costumes. I just remembered that a dog that was um, adopted from the SPCA came out. Her name was India when she was with us. And she showed up here before last in a pink tutu and a crown. And didn't she look good in it? <laughs> oh, my Lord. She was quite the princess for the day. It was great. It was great. So. Now, you started to tell us about what all the activities are. We've got a bike ride that starts at... It starts at 10 o'clock, and Tommy Smith with the Henry County Bike Club is organizing that. And he has smaller rides so that you could just ride on the track, or if you're a good rider and you want to go out, there's longer. I think the longest trail is 12 miles, and it culminates back at the speedway. So you get to ride your bike on the track on the way in and the way out. That's kind of fun. And then at 11 o'clock, you've got the walk. So everybody can come out and bring their dogs and walk around the track. And registration is... $15. Right, and it includes a t-shirt if you register by the deadline. If not, uh, t-shirts will be available for $5 in addition. The t-shirts are 100% cotton. They're long sleeve. They have paw prints going up the arms. They're fabulous. On the back is all of our wonderful sponsors, and I'd like to talk to you about that for just a second. Okay. Um, starting at the $250 level, we have $250, $500, and $1,000 level of sponsorship. But starting at the $250 level, you get your logo, your business name or your logo on the shirt itself. It's printed on all the shirts and all the publicity, and we talk about your business. So that's a wonderful advertising way to get your business name out there and to tell people who love their animals, and that's a growing, growing number of people, that you're an animal-related or an animal-supporting business. Um, and then, of course, we accept things below that level, and your logo and name will be out there, just not on the shirt as well. So. And there's also logos um, and names that will be featured on the 
board at the finish line, correct? That is, there absolutely is. And that's a big, you know, that's where it all culminates and that's where we do the um, raffle prizes and give away um, some of the contest um, gifts and prizes. So it's right there in front of everybody and they know that you are supporting your SPCA and the animals in this community. So if anybody watching is either has a business or is just an individual that wants to support the Mutt Strut, um, you can do a sponsorship and they um, will take as little as you would like to give them or as much as $1,000 or more. That's right. So you can contact the SPCA or you can go online at spcamhc.org and uh, find out more about um, becoming a sponsor. Now let's talk about what else is going on. We've got the bike ride we've mentioned and then we've got the walk at 11 and then what other activities are there? Well there's a doggy buffet which is kind of cute. You can go down and get a variety of dog biscuits for your dog. Uh, most people put those in their pockets though because they don't want to have to clean up after the pet after they've had a big lunch. <laughs> um, we have food vendors so that you can get yourself a sandwich and sit down and dine. Um, or just a snack and then and if anybody is interested in being a food vendor can they come and sign up for that as well is it too absolutely. late absolutely no we would love to have you and this is an eating crowd I'm telling you they like their food so if you sell something that you think that would be popular that day we would love to have you we would love to have you so if you're interested in being a regular vendor or a food vendor you can contact the SPCA at 638 7297 7297 okay so you started telling us that there were demonstrations oh there is there is canine demonstrations from the working dogs like the canine officers and that okay. sort of thing and agility demonstrations as well there'll be a couple of activities there for your animals uh, in addition to that and then there'll be vendors that do things related to the animals like caricatures um, there is an animal reiki person who uh, it's a kind of hands-on healing massage not quite massage kind of thing but it you can learn about animal reiki there's um the invisible fence people there'll be um, like a doggy store that you can shop at and we're working on getting um a person who reads the dog's minds haven't found an animal yet. psychic animal psychic thank you i couldn't <laughs> get that down so there we go. We're working on finding that person. There is one, but she's rather busy. So we're trying to get her there. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a terrific day. And that date again is? April 14th. It's a Saturday. And it's going to be beautiful that day. But in the, Absolutely. In the event, it's not. It's on Sunday, the 15th of April. So, so April 14th, you do not have to pre-register. You're welcome to go to the website. Again, that's spcamhc.org. And you can register for the mutt strut. If you fail to do so, you're welcome to come the day of. Registration is only $15 and all of your money goes to support the low cost spay neuter fund. Um, so that's a great program here in our area and we help thousands of animals every year. So it's a great cause and it's a really, really fun day out. And if you're an animal lover and love to see everybody com coming out with their pets and, and dressed up animals, it's just a great day. So come out and join us and we'll see you on the 14th at Martinsville Speedway.